Okay, so there's a lot of concern about whether it's safe to wear a face mask. And so I figured let's just see, because I never actually tested my oxygen levels before. We wear masks all the time in the hospital for hours and hours and hours. And I'm like, whoa, I don't want to be walking around with a low oxygen level. So let me just check. Hi, I'm Sarah and I am here with my trusty pulse ox. It's wrapped around my finger. It says that my heart rate is 72 and my pulse ox is 99% right now. Anything over 95 is normal. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a surgical mask. Is this is the kind of thing we use every day for operations. Like if, if I'm doing a procedure, um, I could be wearing this for, you know, 12 hours or whatever, basically all day in the hospital. Um, it's pretty easy to breathe through. It's basically like paper, right? But it's not completely airtight. There's this little spaces on the sides, maybe at the bottom. You know, there's the water in the air that's breathing out of me will get caught in this um, mask and not get to you. So that's what the purpose of this is. It protects anybody from droplet exposures. Um, so I'm wearing it and I'm talking and I just ran up the stairs before I came here to do this and my pulse ox seems okay and I feel fine. But for hours and hours and hours and hours, my pulse ox hasn't really changed. Um, I feel fine, it's a little scratchy. I don't like the heat that kind of builds up. I feel my face is kind of sweaty and a little damp now. It's kind of annoying. Um, I don't have a rash, but I know somebody who got one because she was very sensitive. But anyway, that's a surgical mask. Ugh. But you get used to it. And obviously my oxygen level didn't drop, so that was the bigger worry among them. Now, having said that, I hate wearing the N95 masks, but I have one for the patients that are actually positive for um, you know, Ebola or coronavirus or dengue or something that I really don't wanna get into me at all. So this one, it has rubber you know, elastic bands that go around and it's really tight. So this metal bar fits really tight to my face. And this is what I'm I fitted for. So it's pretty tight there. It's pretty tight under my face. Nothing can get in, nothing can get out. I hate wearing this because it gives me a headache because of the rubber bands and it messes up my hair, but that's okay. Um, and I'm breathing through this it's easy to breathe, I just don't like the pressure on my face. So all the pictures you've seen of people with skin breakdown on their face or um, whatever, getting headaches, it makes sense, right? But it's better than being dead. So this is what we would wear if we're taking care of somebody that has um, a virus that we would rather not catch or take home to, to our families. Um, it's very hard to wear this all day. Most people I know who have to wear this will take it off any chance they can, you know, when you're on your break. It's hard to take it off without contaminating it, all this other stuff, we've gotten pretty good at it. But this is basically a respirator. None of the public should be wearing this. I have seen people walking around wearing this. I don't know if they know how to use it, if they're using it properly. I'm afraid that the, the N95s out there may be getting a bad rap because people just literally are wearing them wrong. Um, but no, we can wear this all day, literally in 12 hour shifts. It's very annoying because it presses on your face. It does not kill you. As you can see, my pulse ox hasn't changed at all. I'm talking and speaking through this thing the whole time. Um, but what I wear on a normal daily basis is my cloth mask. And this one is has a nose piece to make it a little tight but not super tight and it you know it's not airtight like some of them are I can make it tighter if I wanted to I can tie this around my head instead but anyway this is what I wear every day and I've been wearing since the beginning of March not been sick at all I wear it I have two or three of these so I wear it into the hospital I wear it when I'm not taking care of patients who are positive for the virus um, I wear it to the supermarket, I wear it when I go out, um, I still try to stay six feet away, which is a little bit more than my height, obviously, because I'm only 5'4". Five, five, um, and I've been okay so far, and I've definitely been out every day and dealing with patients, so I think this works. 
the question is people being worried that a mask will make you not be able to breathe or get enough air into and out of your lungs i am hooked up to the pulse ox just so that we can see if that happens and so far it's been staying over 95 quite love and quite beautifully um i could try to hold my breath and see how long it takes for the circulating blood to run out of oxygen it takes much longer than you might think so right now my circulating blood has oxygen in it and every time my heart squirts into my circulatory system it adds a little more blood so how many times would it have to pull blood that without oxygen in and out of my lungs before my oxygen levels actually started to drop I don't know if I can hold my breath for long enough but we can try so I'm going to take this off and let's see if I hold my breath for I don't know a minute or something I hope I can go that long Let's see what happens to the plus ox, ready? All right, here we go. More about the virus. It's not made up. It's a brand new virus that the human um, species has apparently never seen before. We don't have immunity to it. Um, the baseline rate in the community is not more than 4% as far as we can tell. It's a weird virus in that it's strong and weak at the same time. It's really weak in some people, it gets in, it kind of, the body isn't even sure whether to mount an antibody response to it. And it's, it comes and goes without even being noticed. In other people, it comes in, it seems not noticed at first, and then they get really sick a month or so later, um, mostly in children, as we've seen. Um, in some older people, similar things happen. They seem to be recovering a little bit after seven days and then everything went sour and they, they basically got very sick and died within a few days after that. Some people were very, very sick from the virus. <sighs> Sorry, couldn't go longer than that. Um, so that wasn't enough to drop my oxygen level because the amount of circulating blood that already has oxygen in it. Um, I wasn't able to, even able to dilute it by holding my breath for about a minute. Um, we're still learning a lot about it. We don't know exactly what makes it so fatal in some people. It makes some kids just have this weird um, other sort of reaction. We don't know the long-term effects of it. We don't know the long-term effects on the blood vessels, on the coronaries, on the pancreas, or anything else actually, but we're studying it really carefully. I do not want my kids to catch it. I don't want to catch it. Um, if I got sick, I would probably get better. I would expect. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I'm pretty healthy, um, but I don't know that for a fact, and I would rather not be at home for two weeks unable to work and take care of my patients um, because of being careless. So I think my system works for me and 95 for an infected patient. This for anybody who just might have any random anything including I don't know RSV or the flu or whatever and I just don't want to transmit it to the next patient. And my cloth mask for everything else which is 99% of the time. Um, I forget I'm wearing it sometimes. I think that for people who feel claustrophobic or just don't like having anything touching their face, you can have a mask that kind of sticks out a little bit so there's nothing touching your face so you don't feel weird. Um, some people like to have this thing on the nose so that the glasses don't fog up. Some people don't like the, um, the feeling of the pressure on the ears and so you can literally just sort of um, get a mask that ties around your head or you can do that for yourself obviously if you get a mask if anybody doesn't know how to do that call me i'll let you know how to put ties on so you can just tie it around like this instead um seriously guys just six feet away wear a mask just common sense wash your hands that way we can keep our country going keep our economy moving not have people isolated and lonely at home. Um, yeah, I don't look good this way. I know it messes my hair up, but um, it's okay. Better ugly than dead. Okay, bye.